Greetings from Random House Children's Books, and welcome to our NCTE virtual booth. We'd much rather hand you a book in person than simply recommend one in a video, but we are happy to be here today talking about some of the books we are proudest to publish. School and library staff will recommend books for the conference theme of equity, justice, and anti-racist teaching. These are books that will change your classroom, your students, and you. So let's hear from the school and library team. Hi, my name is Erica Stone and I'm the coordinator on the school and library team. I'm excited to tell you about the extraordinary book, Aureli is the Dreamer, written by Aureli Morales, um, a DACA recipient. This book has received two starred reviews, by uh, one by Kirkus that says it's a powerful in its clear-eyed optimism, and Booklist says it's highly recommends it for all of its collections. It's a stunning, accessible, and uplifting picture book that is a perfect tool to facilitate conversations with young kids about immigration issues. Aurelia was a child of two worlds. She was born in the mountains of Mexico and came to New York City at the age of six with her parents. She found life in the big city noisy, and when she tried to speak English, the words came out wrong. Teased by her classmates and worried about the stresses of immigration, she had to work hard to learn a new language and to fit in. In time, America became her home, and she saw it as a land of opportunity where millions of immigrants who came before her paved their own paths. Today, she is a substitute teacher who loves teaching children the value of storytelling and empowering them to share their own stories. And on to Dream Street. Hi, everyone. I'm Adrian. What happens when you have cousins that grew up on the same street and where one becomes an award winning picture book author, among other things, and the other? becomes an award-winning picture book illustrator, among other things. You get a gorgeous collaboration in the form of an intergenerational picture book that can be used to teach young students about neighborhoods and what makes a community. Dream Street introduces us to the neighbors of the best street in the world, where everyone is special and there is encouragement and love for all. We learn about the people who live there, both kids and adults, who are positive and uplifting. In one of its five starred reviews, Booklist said, the text flows lyrically highlighting the natural talents of Dream Street residents, as well as the encouragement they receive from community members. Holmes' colorful mixed media collage artwork shines through the vibrant, por vibrant portraits she creates of the street's residents. Wouldn't it be wonderful if all of our streets could be Dream Streets? We do have activities for this title on our website. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Duvall and I'm excited to talk to you about one of my favorite picture book biographies out this year. Shirley Chisholm Dared is a new picture book biography great for readers preschool to grade three from Alicia Williams and April Harrison. Alicia Williams is a CSK John Steptoe New Talent author and April Harrison is a CSK John Steptoe New Talent illustrator recipient and together they make a fabulous combination bringing to life the incredible Shirley Chisholm for young readers. Shirley Chisholm was the first Black woman elected to Congress and to run for president. This public figure, um, who was known as an outspoken advocate for the rights of the downtrodden, is one young readers will be inspired by. I love a picture book biography that leaves impressions on readers and ignite a curiosity to learn more about their subjects, and this will do just that. Hi all, it's Kristen Schultz. I'm thrilled to share my book buzz title, Fast Pitch by Nick Stone. You may know Nick Stone as the recipient of the 2020 NCTE National Intellectual Freedom Award, or as the award-winning and best-selling author of young adult titles, Dear Martin, Dear Justice, Odd One Out, and Jackpot, and her debut middle grade, Clean Getaway. Nick's, Nick's newest middle grade fast pitch is a coming-of-age story about a softball player who is looking to prove herself on and off the field. Shanice Lockwood is captain of the Firebirds, looking to lead her team to the regional championship. But life has thrown some curveballs her way. As the sole team of all brown faces, Shanice and the Firebirds have to work twice as hard to prove that black girls belong at bat. Then Shanice's focus gets shaken when her great uncle Jeff reveals that a career ending and family name ruining crime may have been a setup. Shanice must discover the truth about her family's past before secrets take the Firebirds out of the game. In Fast Pitch, Nick explores the intersectionality of the historic Black baseball leagues and Shanice's contemporary softball team in a compelling and accessible middle grade sports story. In two star reviews, Kirkus calls it a grand slam of an adventure, and PW says Black Girl Magic hits a home run. 
We have an in-depth educator's guide with discussion questions and writing prompts to help incorporate this important book into your classroom. Hello, my name is Shaughnessy Miller and I am a coordinator on the library marketing team. And I'm really excited to talk to you today about Defiant. So you may know Wade Hudson from his work as co-publisher of Just Us Books, which has published numerous black interest and multicultural books for children and young adults. Or you may know him from the anthologies he published with his wife, Cheryl Willis Hudson, including We Rise, We Resist, We Raise Our Voices and The Talk, both of which received four starred reviews and the recently published Recognize, an anthology honoring Black life. Now, get to know his powerful backstory through a memoir that reveals the struggles, joys, love, and ongoing resilience that it took to grow up Black in segregated South in segregated America and the lessons that carry over to our fight for a better future. The book examines his upbringing in Mansfield, Louisiana, where he came of age against the backdrop of the civil rights movement. We are able to see him grow up alongside these events and eventually find and use his voice to fight for change. In a starred review, Booklist says, Hudson effectively draws parallels between current civil rights protests, like Colin Kaepernick's taking a knee, to historical events showing readers that today's protests are a continuation of the social rights of the social rights protests of the past. With his compelling memoir, Hudson will inspire young readers to emulate his ideals and accomplishments. And the young readers edition of the New York Times bestseller, Killers of the Flower Moon is here. Written by historian David Grant, this adaptation for grades five and up explores the systematic murders of the Osage people, a Native American tribe, and how, due to racism, these murders went unsolved for years. In our educator's guide, which you can find in the unexamined narratives brochure in our booth resources, Native educator Joanne Paulus writes about the importance of hearing, understanding, and believing stories like Killers of the Flower Moon, which covers a topic that has been forgotten, ignored, and deliberately suppressed. Integrate Killers of the Flower Moon into your social studies or English curriculum for anti-bias reading. And we hope that you'll tell us on Twitter at RHCB Educators, which book you're most excited about. And we really hope that you'll incorporate some of these titles into your curriculum or as a book recommendation for your students. Don't forget to explore our virtual booth for more great books and resources and enter our giveaway for your chance to win a collection of books that fills gaps and silences in dominant cultural reading. We hope that you leave NCTE more knowledgeable, more invested, more involved. Thanks for stopping by.